Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so in the previous tutorial, we have seen how to create uh, this clinic. Now in this tutorial, we'll see how to get the clients. So again, we will make these other client sketch. So if there is any error while uh, trying to get the clients, I will say it's a status 500 error. And if I'm able to get the clinics, I will uh, directly send those clinics uh, as a response dot uh, status 200. Okay, so now I will do one thing. I have to go to the clinics route. I have to uncomment this. Put it over here into whatever is the clinics we will be able to see them so this is the create clinic and uh, same route i will use uh, for getting the clinics so let me just copy paste i'll say get clinic and instead of uh, post it will be get request same route i will make use of the uh, And uh, here is the list of the clinics which uh, were created by me. Uh, recorder is on, yeah. So now this is how we will be getting the clinic. So clinics uh, route is done. So the na uh, next what we will have is uh, doctors. Okay, so let me just check. First, uh, we are done with the users. So we have seen how to create the users. Then we have seen how to create the clinic and all. And uh, next is uh, related doctors. So in this doctor's uh, model, we are <clears throat> making use of the clinic, okay? So I'm making use of this collection over here. Uh, so let's get started already. So when it comes to this uh, doctor's route, where are the routes? Clinic route, I will copy. I will go to the doctor's route. I will paste the same thing over here. And instead of this uh, get doctor and create do uh, get clinic and uh, create clinic, here, it will be like a get doctor center create doctors. Okay, so get doctors and here it will be. Create uh, doctor, create doctor. This will be fine. Okay, and uh, when it comes to this uh, controller, I'm making a lot of uh, spelling mistakes. Doctor's clinic, controller, sorry. Doctor controller and uh, when it comes to this doctor controller, I have to just go here and uh, I will do one thing. I will copy paste the same thing because the same thing I will be making use of over here. Okay, so but the only thing is that uh, instead of uh, this, I will be importing the doctor's model. doctor's model I will copy this over here paste it over here then wherever I'm using the doctor's model I have to replace on those very same places here as well this is the same process and let me just check when it comes to the creating the doctor as you've seen create doctor it will be here and uh, <clears throat> image part is also same this is almost 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 same
I'll say constant doctor and doctor dot save over here and uh, I'll send the same data ahead. I think This is almost same, just like uh, this clinic. So uh, the only difference is that you have to do a lot of hard work for that. And uh, yeah, this is done. Then now I have to go to the server, server.js. And uh, maybe they can copy paste this as well. Doctor routes I will create and uh, I will copy this. I'll come down below over here and uh, let me just uh, copy paste this. Uh, this will be like doctors and uh, when it comes to the create clinic this uh, create doctor is almost same okay so I will save this uh, duplicate what is the path here is the doctors and uh, body is there get doctors get doctors and create doctor okay this much is fine i guess and uh, when it comes to creating the doctor there are a few parameters which I am I was supposed to change, and uh, doctor will basically have. Let me just close all these files. These are not required. Let me open the doctor's model. So it is having the name, image, description, and clinic name. description image clinic name clinic services are not there services are the clinic image description okay so this much is fine i guess and Clinic. Okay, so here I have to put the uh, this thing clinic ID. So here is the doctor, and uh, when it comes to this uh, clinic, it's a uh, UUID. Okay, so I have to do one thing I have to go to my MongoDB and uh, just refresh it. There are some clinics over here, so I have to copy the ID of one of the clinic paste it over here okay no file uploaded again the same error <clears throat> let me just check again
I have uploaded the file. What if it is not picking up the file? Let me just do one thing. I will re-upload the file and see. Okay, so doctor has been created. Uh, I have just uh, duplicated uh, this route, so that's why it was uh, not working. So create doctor is also working fine. And I have created a doctor. I will go and refresh this. And uh, yeah, so my doctor is also here. Okay. So this is working fine. Create doctor. Now I have to work on the getting the doctor. Okay, so I'll come over here. I will duplicate the same route. And uh, this is the get request because I'll be getting the doctors. And uh, yeah, I'm getting the doctor, the one doctor which I was create, which I have created. But I want to get the details of this clinic as well. Okay, so now what I will do uh, in order to get the over here, I'm just getting the clinic ID, but I want to get the details of the clinic. So I will come over here, doctor dot find, and uh, I will say. Populate and uh, inside of the populate, I will say clinic. And now let me just resend. There you go. Resend. Okay, so now as can be seen, I'm getting the all the details of the clinic. Okay, because I populated the data of the clinic. I have to populate this uh, parameter clinic because over here I have given the clinic and I have defined a type as a schema type object ID and the reference I have given is a clinic collection okay so this is fine now next comes is the appointments so now I have to work on the appointments so I will copy paste this over here and uh, now I have to work on the appointment so I will have the appointment controller I have the appointment controller over here and I will copy this. What time is it? Just 12 minutes. Appointment controller, appointment routes. So I will say book appointment and when it comes to the get uh, I will say get appointments and uh, I, will, I will copy this I will copy this over here and uh, let me just save this I will go to the controllers my appointment controller I'll go and uh, when it comes to this appointment controller, I have to import the appointment first and from where I will import it, I will import it from the models and uh, instead of the models, I have the appointment.js, okay. I will say export constant book appointment with the async function and it will basically have the request response and uh, let me just uh, destructure so where is my appointment model over here let me just close this doctor's model and there are these few parameters which I want so what I want, uh, I basically want a name, phone number, clinic, selected doctor, date, time slot, 
left its service okay so name phone number leave it left a doctor date time slot selected service okay so this much is fine i guess and i will be importing this from the body so basically i'll uh, i send this from the request body and uh, if there is any error i will catch that error and then i will go inside of my try blog and i will try to create a new appointment and i will send all these parameters and uh, whatever is the uh, message i will just uh, send a message over here so i will i will say create it appointment successfully and uh, if I want to send the data, I will send the data as well. Okay, so this could be done. So this is all about the booking the appointment. Then I will have in the another route which is to get the appointments. So again, I will make you the try and catch blocks and uh, whatever is the appointments, I will just get them and send it back. So this much is fine. And appointments route is there. So again, I have to go and register this appointment uh, route in uh, in my server.js. So I will come over here. I will copy this. Mostly, it's uh, all about the copy pasting appointments. Appointment route and. Where is that appointment route? Appointment routes is here. I'll copy this. I'll paste it down below and uh, let me just cut, paste it over here. I will say appointment. So this was to get doctors, create doctor is done. So now again I want to create appointment. So I will basically replicate this only create clinic which one should i replicate create appointment Okay, so over here I'll be in need of a name, phone number, clinic, selected services. 
selected doctor okay so name of the appointment i will say appointment first time you can give whatever name okay so it is not mandatory then i'm having the phone number let's do one thing this file is not required so i will delete it okay so phone number i will say three two three next next time having the clinic so let me just put the clinic select a doctor i'll put some date i'll put some time slot and then put some selected services okay so over here uh, clinic and selected doctor uh, these are basically the uids of the clinic and doctor whichever you want so let me just go to some doctor i have one doctor over here so for that selected doctor i will put that uh, uid and for clinic i'll put some clinic id and uh, service one service to whatever it is time slot 10 to level date uh, 21.06.2024 whatever that is let me just create appointment name is required I have given the name phone number is required, clinic pass is required. It is throwing error for literally everything. Appointment control, let me just check. Name, phone number, clinic. everything is required yeah i'm passing everything Let me just uh, do one thing. I try to pass the data as a uh, raw data over here. phone number it is looking for the phone number it is looking for the name it suggests on data it is looking for the clinic id it is looking for the selected doctor selected services
will uh, re-enter the whole data and uh, there is one so this is just uh, the immediate I'm taking it let's just hit it again and see time slot Time to level date cast the date form let me just see what is the state oh it is of the type uh, date format i can do one thing i will just go over here and uh, let me see the created field is there in any of the field okay i will just copy this as of now and uh, i'll paste it over here okay so now i've created the appointment you don't have to worry about all these things so uh, when the front end will be ready it will take care of this like uh, how like what format of the data i should pass to these fields but uh, for the sake of uh, this uh, postman and uh, how to show you i mean i just wanted to show you how this backend is uh, running and how this api is functioning so this much of uh, data is enough i guess i think i have literally covered everything so our backend is ready now and in the next tutorial we will see how to create uh, admin panel and after that we will go for the app okay so thanks for watching